He is known for being a Chinese Buddhist philosopher from later Qin and a disciple of Kumarjiva. He is recognized for his profound understanding of religious matters and his involvement in translating Indian treatises. He is Sing Zhao. In the ancient city of Jingzhou, there lived a man named Sing Zhao. Born into a humble family, he possessed a thirst for knowledge that surpassed his circumstances. Sing Zhao's journey into philosophy began as a scribe, where he had the opportunity to read rare and intriguing texts, including the works of Taoists such as Laozi and Zhuangzi. It was during this time that he stumbled upon the Vimalakirti Sutra, a profound encounter that would forever change the course of his life. Enthralled by the teachings of the Vimalakirti Sutra, Sang Zhao embraced Buddhism and became one of the most esteemed disciples of Komarjiva. His scholarly prowess and deep understanding of religious matters earned him a prominent place in the translation of Indian treatises, which formed the foundation of early Chinese Mahayanaka Buddhism. However, Sang Zhao's greatest contribution to philosophy came in the form of his own writings, most notably his renowned book called Zhaoluan. This groundbreaking work consisted of chapters exploring profound concepts. Sang Zhao emphasized the transient nature of existence, criticizing earlier Chinese Buddhist schools for their fixation on ideas of being or non-being. He boldly proclaimed that all dharmas, or phenomena, are empty. Sang Zhao's philosophical insights challenged conventional wisdom and transformed the understanding of Buddhism in China. His teachings on the emptiness of all things opened new doors of perception, encouraging his followers to transcend dualistic thinking and embrace a more profound understanding of reality. Seng Zhao, known as the greatest scholar among the knowledgeable and learned group in Chang'an, played a crucial role in translating Indian texts into Chinese. When the renowned Komarjiva conducted translations, Seng Zhao would always be by his side, offering his expertise in defining the meanings of words. His annotations on the Vinalakrtna Deshastra and several treatises were revered by scholars for their subtle meaning. Although other accounts of Seng Zhao's life do not shed much light on his work or activities, they do emphasize his significance as a bridge between Komarjiva and the Chinese language. It is believed that the foreign master heavily relied on Seng Zhao's ability to translate Indian terminology into stylistically acceptable Chinese. One legend surrounding Seng Zhao's death, found in the Gongnan collection called the Bayan Lu, is widely regarded as apocryphal. However, within this collection, there is another reference to his life that provides insight into his correspondence with Louis Ming. According to the Bayan Lu, Seng Zhao not only studied under Komar Jiva but also sought guidance from the Bodhisattva Buddhabhadra at the Temple of the Tile Coffin. Buddhabhadra had come from India to transmit the mind seal of the 27th patriarch, and Seng Zhao delved deeply into this inner sanctum of knowledge. Seng Zhao's contributions as a translator and his pursuit of spiritual guidance from both human and celestial beings demonstrate his dedication to understanding and disseminating profound wisdom. His work continues to inspire scholars and seekers of knowledge, as his translations and treatises offer intricate insights into the subtleties of Buddhist philosophy. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.